Hi, uh, we've talked about our goals and our must-haves. One must-have that we all have to understand is CHAMPS. You've heard about CHAMPS since you were in elementary school, but it's time to do a refresher and what this means in, in my classroom. So let's refresh. Well, we don't have to refresh gravity exists, right? It just does. And that was, huh, that was gravity. Let's review champs. The C is for, tell me, you're right, conversation. And this is probably the most important aspect of our classroom is conversation. Whether that conversation is your conversation or mine, but let's be clear, when I'm having a conversation to the whole group, it means that I need you to listen. When you're having a conversation with me in a whole group situation, I need to know that you wanna have a conversation with me. And that's not by blurting out. That's by, well, raising your hand. The next part of CHAMPS is H, or as we all know, it's help. How do you get help from me? Well, there are several ways. If we're in a whole group situation and I'm having a conversation with all of you, if you need help, this is what I need you to do. I need you to wait until I finish my thought and I ask for questions then this is what you're going to do. You're going to raise your hand. If we're in a small group, just you and I and maybe a few of our friends talking and you have a question, again, I need you to pause whether I'm speaking or whether one of our friends are speaking. I want you to pause and wait till that minute. And then again, I'd like, I'd like to ask you to raise your hand just so we can identify who wants to speak next. The next part of CHAMPS is the activity. And this is when we're talking, whether we're in a whole group or whether we're in a small group or whether you were just collaborating with some of your classmates, maybe you're doing a lab. All those activities require different means of conversation and different helps. So let's review. If you're in an activity and it's a whole group, which means I'm doing the teaching, then you're activity is to be writing notes, paying attention, not talking to your neighbor. If the activity is a small group with me, then the same situation applies and you should be actively participating and doing what I ask you to do in a small group. If you're collaborating with friends in a lab or on a project, then your activity is again to be participating with your friends. It does not mean participating in social talk or gossip or drama. It means your participation is focused on that activity that you've been assigned. The next part of CHAMPS is your movement. In my classroom, there is no movement. You don't get up and sharpen your pencil. You you don't get up to go to your backpack. There is no movement in my classroom unless you have asked permission from me. This is mainly due to your safety and also the safety of others. And also because I get distracted easily. And if I see you move, I will lose my train of thought. So I really need your help with this. So no movement in my classroom unless it, you've asked. And how do you ask? You raise your hand. P, participation. It's my expectation for everything in my classroom. We cannot reach our goals if we are not actively participating in our learning. We need to keep safety in mind and we need to keep that whole consideration of other people in mind too. So if you have a project, I expect you to participate by doing your part. And in our classroom, I expect you to do your job to reach your goals by participating in your own learning. Now, the final letter is S, and that S means success. 
we will have success if we do all these things. So I can't wait to see you in my classroom and see how we follow our chance expectations.